Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to talk about distros designed specifically for gaming. But quick note before we start, distros like Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Arch, Manjaro can game very well too. But in this video, we're just focusing on the ones whose main focus is gaming, the distros that come pre-tuned, patched, and packaged for gamers. Gaming on Linux is way better today than it used to be. Thanks to Proton, Mesa improvements, and a lot of community work, thousands of Windows games run on Linux, but not every distro ships with the same set of gaming tools and kernel tweaks. So these gaming-focused distros exist to remove setup pain, give you better drivers out of the box, and sometimes tune kernels and schedulers for smoother gameplay. They save you time, reduce friction, and in many cases, make gaming on Linux feel closer to a plug and play experience. If you want the least friction and a desktop that just works, then Pop! OS is amazing. System76 maintains it on top of Ubuntu LTS and backports newer kernels and graphics components where needed, which means you don't lose stability for performance. One major convenience is that Pop! OS offers an installer image with NVIDIA drivers preloaded that single feature solves a huge pain point for many gamers. It's also excellent for laptops with hybrid graphics because the distro makes uh, GPU switching painless. If you're new to Linux or you want to install and play with minimal fuss, Pop! OS is probably the fastest route. Nobara takes Fedora's modern stack and pre-applies a ton of gaming configs so you don't have to. It bundles Proton GE-friendly tweaks, Steam, Lutris, OBS, Multimedia Codex, and proprietary drivers, basically the stuff you'd otherwise spend an afternoon installing and configuring. Maintained by folks deeply involved in Linux gaming, Nobara gives you a bleeding edge, yet usable experience without heavy manual setup. It's a great choice if you value a modern stack and want everything configured for gaming and streaming out of the box. Bazite is built as an immutable OS. Think atomic upgrades and easy rollbacks. For people who hate system breakage from updates, this is a game changer. Updates are applied atomically and you can quickly roll back if something goes wrong. It brings a SteamOS inspired flow and bundles options like DeckKey and Emudeck for Steam Deck style conveniences on a PC. The trade-off is you'll rely more on flat packs and containerized workflow, which requires a small mindset shift. But if you want a console like set it and forget it, gaming PC, Bazite is superb. Garuda is Arch-based and moves fast. It ships with performance-tuned kernels such as Linux Zen, uses ZRAM and configures BTRFS snapshots by default to protect you from bad updates. If squeezing every frame and chasing responsiveness matters to you, Garuda rewards that effort. But keep in mind, rolling release means more hands-on maintenance and occasional breakage. For power users who enjoy benchmarking, tuning kernels, and tweaking low-level settings, Garuda is a top pick. Chimera OS is designed to be a dedicated gaming appliance. It boots straight into Steam Big Picture, prioritizes controller-first navigation, and runs automatic background updates to keep the experience smooth. It intentionally limits desktop features to avoid distractions and to optimize the living room experience. Now, there are some hardware caveats to be aware of, but if your PC's primary job is to be hooked up to your TV for controller-based play, Chimera OS is purpose-built for that use case. A quick shout out to Regada OS. It's user friendly and includes tools like game access to simplify running non Steam launchers such as Epic Games or Battle.net. If you want convenience across multiple stores and a more polished GUI approach, Regata OS is worth trying. Choosing the best distro comes down to priorities. If you're new to Linux or want the easiest path with minimal setup, Pop OS is the way to go. If you want a modern bleeding edge stack, that's still pre-configured for gaming, Nobara gives you that balance. If you prefer an appliance like Update Safe System where you can roll back any problematic update, Bazite is designed for that. If you love tweaking, want the newest kernels and drivers first, and don't mind occasional maintenance, Garuda will reward your tinkering. And if your main goal is a living room controller first console experience, Chimera OS was built for that exact scenario. All of these options are solid. It really comes down to whether you value ease, performance, or unbreakable stability. Do a full backup before you begin. Seriously backup your important files. 
If you own an NVIDIA GPU, either choose an installer image that includes NVIDIA drivers or be ready to install them right after setup. That will avoid driver headaches. If you pick an immutable distro like Bazite, spend a little time learning Flatpak and DistroBox workflows because they're central to how you'll install and run non-system apps. If you pick Garuda or any BTRFS-based setup, enable snapshots and a tool like TimeShift so you can roll back if a system update causes problems. So that's it for this video. If this helped, hit like, subscribe for more Linux gaming guides and comment the distro which you picked for your rig.